This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. Title of this vid clip is Web 1.0, Surfing and Creating. The analysis questions, and there are only three of them for uh, these, this and the next three video clips, are as follows. Number one, how does the Desjardins interaction model characterize Web 1.0? How does Spivak's MetaWeb model characterize the web? And number three, compare and contrast the two models with respect to Web 1.0. The HCHI model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used in this course as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. Web 1.0, or perhaps the original World Wide Web designation given by Tim Berners-Lee requires a combination of competencies that are similar to those required in the Desjardins technical and informational orders. If you were to make use of Web 1.0 then, you would be looking for web pages that present information. The technical skills would include those required to navigate the operating system, invoking a process with the mouse or keyboard, uh, to load a browser, using the address bar in the browser to proceed to a specific site, or you could access a search engine to find, select, and create slash manage information. Once you found information of the type being sought, you would need to validate and evaluate it. The graphic on the screen illustrates the intersection of these two orders. Notice that social and epistemological competencies are not, not required as there is no interaction with others that is implicit in Web 1.0, nor are there requirements to have computer process and transform the data into another form other than what was found on the original web page accessed. This slide presents a slightly different way of looking at the related scenario. Nova Spivak, on his blog, Minding the Planet, and you can find the uh, URL at the bottom of the diagram, suggested that internet technologies can be characterized using two dimensions, degree of information connectivity and the degree of social connectivity. This typology becomes a conjecture that we will explore over the next two weeks. According to Wikipedia, the Web 1.0 page, Web 1.0 is characterized by a focus on presenting information, web pages that have few creators of content or information, information that is not dynamic and can be updated only by the webmaster, and most surfers are primarily consumers of content or information. Spivak's model reflects this by suggesting that the web could be characterized by a low degree of information connectivity, each website is static and not related to others, and a low degree of social connectivity since there is no implicit requirement to interact with others. Explore the types of type, uh, technologies that Spivak places into this quadrant. The theoretical considerations for this vid clip are as follows. Please see uh, pages 1 through 12 in the Mike Evans presentation document found at the URL that's given on the slide. Please be aware that this document is primarily an analysis that was conducted from and for a business perspective. While it has limited value in an education context, it will help to understand the ideas that are implicit when looking at the development of the World Wide Web and the Internet. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, how ought technologies that fit within this quadrant or category be used in conjunction with the education of adult learners? Number two, why is P2P uh, file sharing placed straddling the division between the web and social software? What kinds of applications fit in this category? And number two, number two, um, if personal information managers, PIMs, are placed in this quadrant, should we also include other standalone devices such as probeware? And there's two types that are pr primarily available in Ontario. That's the Vernier. Uh, or Vernier uh, and the Pasco types, interactive whiteboards of the type uh, Smartboard or Promethean, 
um, and clickers? Um, and should these be included in this particular quadrant? Why or why not? By the way, this is a complex question uh, that requires an analysis of the affordances that are available through each of the technologies. And there are multiple affordances. Number three, can all websites, content portals such as Rogers Yahoo or Bell Sympatico MSN be grouped together and treated as one entity as is suggested by the Spivak meta, meta web model? If so, why? If not, why not? That brings us to the end of our uh, vid clip for this uh, particular topic.